little update video. It's been a while. Putting some floors in the old uh, convertible. Got some nice pans from Whispered West. I finished pulling the pedals out, cutting the floor out on this side, and I got to do a little metal work. Contemplating whether to pull this off the chassis so I can address the firewall and some rocker issues. So uh, that's coming up. Got the Mustang over here. Got the uh, seal hanging out of the back of the tail housing, so I had to pull that apart. Got a little beetle here, oil change, valve adjustment, and just go over the car. I was at another shop, and uh, they did some work. They put a gas tank in it and uh, didn't seal the sending unit, so the trunk was filling up with fuel, and then that was going into the firewall and then uh, going into the car. Uh, the drain is bad also, so we got to replace the hose from the drain on the top of the car to the uh, firewall. Which is just filling the inside of the car up. They put a tank in, put the old fuel line on, so we're going to replace that. It's all frayed up. I don't know if you guys can see that down there, but it's got a bent tie rod. Like, got a really bad bow in it. And they went ahead and aligned it with the rod bent like that. The actual tube's bent, not the rod, but it's got a considerable bend in it. Uh... Wrong grease in the wheel bearings. All the grease came out. Wheel bearings are bad. Seal, they use a seal over. Springs hanging out of it. Riding between the seal and the uh, surface here. That looks like they put some new springs on it. New shoes, new wheel cylinders, new brake lines. Not a bad job. And they put some new ball joints and stuff in, but they never lubed them. So we're going to lube the front end up, lube the ball joints, and uh, put some seals wheel bearings repair turn signal and uh the leak the gas leak we already fixed that he did a brake job and didn't replace these drums they're awful thin but we'll let it slide but uh it's something you want to keep an eye on i know a lot of people don't want to buy drums because once you buy all the drums and the parts to do a decent brake job on a drum system you can almost replace them with disc but a lot of people like to keep their car original Apparently this guy's had this since new, so uh, that's where we're at with that. Got a little uh, body repair job here, a little lower quarter panel. I stud gunned that this morning, and uh, that's the second, probably the final wipe on it there. We'll knock that down. And that's what's going on with that. Still got the Mustang, ordered some new tires, so we got a burnout video coming for that. And I got a new mower, got this today. Just cut the grass. The grass was a little wet. Probably should have waited until it dried up a little bit. I cut it right after it rained, but it still cut pretty nice. Just made a mess all over the mower. But uh, I was going to buy a rider and I decided to go with a zero turn. That way I can uh, get a couple yards to cut and uh, make a little uh, money that way, you know. I see other people doing it. Grass grows down here all the time, so I thought I'd pick this up. I saw this at Lowe's first. They got a 52 inch and uh, they don't have the limited there. The limited, you get a little bigger tires on the front, uh, a little beefier tires on the back. You get the better seat and you get the Kawasaki engine. And uh, I've heard the Kohlers are pretty good, but I also heard that people really like the Kaw Kawasaki. So I went ahead and went with the Kawasaki and uh does run really good it's super quiet and then smooth it's a 52 inch deck it's fabricated so uh it's nice and thick that was one of the things that usually goes bad down here on mower is the deck and uh this one's reinforced it's a lifetime warranty on the deck and i think it's a uh, three year all you buy is filter and blades so uh that was a pretty good warranty if it works out and i want something else a little bigger I can sell this one off or just keep this one and add to the collection. I've been thinking about getting a couple mowers for some yard work because I got some people that want their uh, car lots cut and stuff. So, anyway, that's what's going on here. It's a beautiful day here. Little puffy clouds. It rained earlier. It's going to rain again over there. Well, I just spread Bondo, so of course it's going to rain. I need to get that knocked down and primed. I would have liked to get this painted and uh, taken back today. They got another one for me that's got a KO door. Asked me if I could fix the door. 
and the door is just uh, totally trashed. They didn't want to buy a skin for it and uh, they wanted somebody to repair it and I told them I would do it. Gave them a price and I'm just going to LKQ and buying a door. Uh, not going to straighten a used car for a couple days. When they can buy a door for $40 at LKQ, I just baked it into their price and I'll uh, cut the door and they'll never know. So, so this is going on here. That's drying nicely. I'll knock that down with some 80 grit and get some uh, primer on there. And uh, yeah, that's all that's going on. I did bring the boat around. I'm going to try to get it running. Got to try. I got it running before the uh, wedding. Or maybe the party. I don't know. When Neil came down the first time, I think I got the boat running. But it needs some new seats and some carpet. And I got to buy that because if I don't get that soon, Andrea's going to make me go buy a new boat. And I don't really want to buy another boat. So she thinks this one won't run. So I got to prove her wrong. At least break down one more time on the river before I get another one. But, uh... That's what's happening here, not a whole lot. So, went to uh, work at a shop for this guy. It lasted for a day. He had me paint a Challenger, $40,000 car. Gave me 75 bucks, paint everything but the roof. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I don't think this is gonna work out. So, I think I'd rather cut grass and repair Volkswagens than uh, paint cars at somebody's shop. They can't write an estimate, so. Uh, this is good for me. I get along with myself pretty well, so this is good loner work. So that's what's happening here. Storm's definitely blowing in now. You can see the sky's darkening. Uh, it comes in waves. I don't know. It's like there's a, a tropical system out there. Anyway, I'm going to ride this around a little bit and get used to the uh, turning. It's sort of different. No steering wheel. But uh, it's pretty cool. So I hope everybody's doing good. Just a little uh, update video, you know. I got another video coming. Been working on the shop in there. Didn't want to show you that. Uh, I got the transmission back for the Nova. But uh, still got the shop blown up. Trying to get everything turned around so where we can use the uh, paint room for a little uh, couple paint jobs. And then we're going to turn that into a motor room. I've been buying cabinets for in there. So that's coming. But uh, yeah, a little butterfly. But anyway, that's what's happening here. Hope everybody's doing good, like I said. Get out there and uh, push that record button.